Hello, uh, I'm Alex. Welcome to the third episode of this multiplayer FPS series. So this video, it's actually the second time I'm recording it. So let's get right into it. So let's search for our player here and drag it into the scene. And let's change the scale from whatever you had it before to one, just to fix some issues. And also make sure that the main camera scale is at 1 as well. Okay, let's save that. Now let's add a weapon to our player. So, let's, I'm gonna go on Google and search for the subset called Sketchfab right here. Um, let's search for in AK hands. An AK maybe. I quite like this one, so let's just get that. Click on download 3D model and let's get the FBX format. Uh, don't mind me and my uh, free WinRAR. Let's extract this. Um, and it should be in your downloads folder. So it comes with two folders. Let's just grab those and drag them into the project. Uh, let's fix that. Okay, let's enable the camera on this player and drag this window right here. And um, yeah, let's go to, oh my bad. Uh, I've, I had two textures folders because I was recording this earlier. Just don't worry about that. So go into your source folder, uh, enable this main camera, and let's just, just parent the AK to the camera. Nice, okay. Um, can just position this nicely. Oh, just a tip, don't ever rotate this because this will just look weird. Just change the position. Uh, if you rotate it, then the gun won't be facing to the center of the screen, just as a piece of advice. Um, yeah, this looks actually very good. Uh, I'll just extract this material by clicking Control D for duplicate. And let's drag the arm material on oops, the arm material on the arms mesh. And then does this have, okay. One, two, let's draw this Let's drag the AK material on the AK. Um, okay. Let's decrease this. Hmm. Let's just adjust this material until it looks good. Um, can make them arms a bit less smooth. Yeah, this looks quite nice. Uh, okay, I'll just position this a bit better. But yeah, this, this looks sick so far. So let's once again disable the camera and apply this to our player. Then we can just delete this. Yeah, this looks this looks pretty incredible. Um, let's get started with the code. So, under our uh, player, let's add a new script called health. In this health script, we can delete all this, and let's add a public float for actually a public int for health. 
and then we'll add a function. So public void take damage, which will take in an int of damage. And in here we'll type health minus equals damage. Now, if our health is less than or equal to zero, so if health is less than or equal to zero, we want to destroy our player game object. So let's destroy game object. And on and for this function, let's add the tag for Pana PC. And I'll show you what this does later. So let's just save that. And now, of course, we need to add a script for our weapon. So on this AK, let's add a script called weapon. Uh, we can delete the start method. Uh, we'll add a few parameters. So the first one will be public int damage. Then a public float fire rate a private float for next fire and yeah that's all we need so in the update method let's check if input the get button down actually no get button fire one and next fire is smaller or equal to zero. Um, let's create a new function for fire. Then here let's fire. And we'll also set next fire to be equal to one divided by fire rate. And up here, let's check if next fire is greater than zero, next fire minus equals time delta time. So this next fire will decrease by one every second. In this fire script, oh actually we need a reference to our camera as well. So public camera camera. We're gonna define ray. Ray equals new ray camera dot transform the position camera the transform the forward for the direction yeah that's all um then we're gonna make a new raycast called hit and if physics dot raycast ray from ray dot origin in ray dot direction with and then out for out let's do out hit and let's do a range of 100 so if this ray hits something let's check if hit dot get component or hit dot transform oh shit <laughs> hit the transform the game object the get component health so if what we hit has a health component, meaning that it's a player, let's do hit the transform the game object the get component photon view. So what this photon view does is it allows us to do stuff that is synced over the network. So let's get component photon view the RPC, and our RPC will be right here. It'll be called take damage. The target will be everyone on the server, so RPC target all. And we have a parameter here, which is an integer. So let's pass in our damage. And yeah, we should be set. Okay, let's test. We've got our two beans. Uh, and if I shoot him, oh, we made a mistake. <laughs> Give me a sec. Um, so for our player, under the weapon script, let's actually set some stats here. So for damage, let's do 
25. Let's drag in our camera and we'll set the fire rate to 10 times per second. And also let's set our health to 100 by default. So this AK will do 25 damage and our health will start off at 100. Uh, let's build and run this, see what happens. So right now you can hold down to fire and if we shoot this guy, there we go, he's gone. But uh, since we don't have respawning yet, this on um, the other person's screen, it just freezes. We'll add that in the next episode. Um, we've got some other stuff we need to finish first. So firstly, for our health, let's add a health bar or some damage text so that we can visualize our health for the player. So let's add a UI text and import text match pro essentials. Let's just import everything. Okay. Now let's move this text to the bottom left corner. So there we go. Let's make this say 100 by default. Okay, so we'll set the text in our health script. So in here, let's add a new header for UI. Now this is just for organizing stuff. You can add this if you want, or just skip it. And we'll add a public text mesh pro UGI, and we'll call it health text. Now when we take damage, we'll set our health text dot text to be equal to health dot to string. So this is an integer, our health is an integer, and the dot text is expecting a string, so we're just converting the integer to a string. So yeah, let's drag in our text. And um, also, you can't really tell if you're shooting right now, so let's make a particle that appears when you shoot. So right-click, click Create Effects Particle System. Actually, I have a better idea. Let's go in the Asset Store, and I'll find us a particle. Uh, let's go Free Assets. This one looks good. Let's add it to your assets. Okay. Um, under Window, Package Manager, select My Assets. Let's search for Cartoon FX. There we go. Sure, let's update it. And let's just import it. Okay, let's go to Cartoon effects. I like this one. So let's drag this in. So I'm going to use the CFXR Impact, <laughs> impact Glowing HDR Blue. Uh, let's add a photon view to this so that we can sync it. And if you remember from last devlog, not last. And if you remember from the very first tutorial, anything we want to instantiate with Photon needs to go into this folder. Oh no. So yeah, okay. Um, so now we have this. So let's go to our player. And for our weapon script, let's add, in, let's add a new header for Header VFX and we'll add a public game object hit VFX and when we shoot anything, not just a player, we want to go photon network dot instantiate not in lobby uh, instantiate hit VFX dot name hit dot point at hit dot that's just the quaternion dot identity <laughs> sorry my keyboard's falling apart uh 
Yep, that should be good. And let's drag in this head prefab and make sure to disable this camera as well. All right, let's test. <laughs> Very cool. Okay, um, I mean, you could probably do better if you actually look through the asset, but let's, let's just test this. All right. So, if we shoot him once, there we go, the health, it's a bit hard to see, but the health decreases, we can shoot him back. He's on 50 now. He's on 25. And I mean, now we have uh, an FPS game, sort of. Uh, yeah, let's actually, before I wrap this up, let's add a quick shadow to this text. So on the extra settings, if I enable the camera, on the extra settings, we can add a underlay. Let's offset it by a negative Y. Make it a bit like this. And also we can add an outline if you want. I want that. Yeah, that should be it. Thank you very much for watching. Next video, we'll be making the graphics look a little nicer um, and adding some up and sway. Alright, toodles.